Hello my darlings, welcome back to another video. My name is Anisha and I am obsessed with fragrances. Today I wanted to come to you with some hyped fragrances. Some are new releases, some are just hyped and I needed to get my nose on these to see if their spicy looks to prove, right? So I was good that I didn't blind buy these fragrances. I bought some decants and I tested them out. So now I could come to you and let you know, is this full bar can't talk. Is this full bottle worthy? So if you want to hear my thoughts on these fragrances, please stay tuned. I just realized I'm not wearing my mic, so sorry about that, guys. Let's get into this fragrance. So the first one I want to talk about, hmm, which one do I want to talk about? Okay, let's start with the goodie, okay? And this is uh, Gritty Duquesa. Now, Demi Rollins started the rave about this fragrance this is a cherry fragrance and she said this is like one of the best cherries ever so and it's so hard to find you can't find this fragrance anyway it's always sold out and it's very very expensive so I was so happy when I was able to purchase a decant I got my nose on this fragrance so I can give you my so this fragrance has notes of cherry sour cherry saffron bitter orange peach white flowers jasmine star anise close then we have base the base notes we have sweet almond patchouli iris and sugar now this fragrance i was so so excited to try it so let's give it a whiff again now i did wear this on my hands so i know what it smells like but i just wanted to refresh my memory this is not as strong that i thought it was going to be you get the blast of that cherry in the opening very sweet you get the sourness of the cherry you get a slight saffron, but not too much. And you get a slight citruses. I don't pick up any peach. Now, when I first sprayed this, <laughs> I went to my husband and I said, smell this. He's like, that smells like essence. Now, back in the Caribbean, if you're from the islands, you know, we have this thing called essence that you put in like drinks and cakes and all that. It's something like, um, like vanilla extract, but it's like it's essence. So we have cherry and stuff in it. So this gives you that blast of essence in the opening. Now, that uh, smell dies down a bit. And then for a good while, now this fragrance is not linear in any way. It changes as you go along. But you know that we call it starlight. I think you call it um, sparklers. You know, for uh, like for those occasions you like with firecrackers and all that those kids has those starlights and they shake it up or when it's finished burning there's a scent that comes from that it smells like that like i don't know like when you burn um what do you call those things a firecrackers and stuff it has a slight smell of that no that might sound weird but i get that for a good while this fragrance is not what i expected let's get down to the chase is it full bottle worthy only if I get it at a very, very good price, I will purchase this. But I'm not going to chase this down paying full price for this, no. To me, it's not that wowing. It's nice, it's okay, it's not a bad scent. It's pretty, it's soft, it's nice. But is it all the hype? No. In my opinion, no. So yeah, that's full bottle worthy if I get a good deal. So moving on to the other one. This one is another new release. And this one is from the house of Mathieu Premier. Yeah, so this is Crystal Saffron. This is their latest release, to my knowledge. Now, I love this house. They have quite a few that I absolutely love. I have Incense Suave and I have uh, Santal Austria. Gorgeous. And there's some more that I want. So I was so excited to try this because I am a saffron lover. When you spray this fragrance, there is a transparent kind of clean almost as the word says crystal smell it's very transparent i'm tr trying to explain it but that's what i get it's like transparent the saffron is there but it's a clean saffron it smells beautiful in the opening now this has musk it has saffron and broxen and incense you get the saffron you get this cleanness about it i guess it's the musk maybe it's white musk i don't know then a slight smokiness. This smells absolutely stunning in the opening, but in the dry down on my skin, I'm like, when I smell this, I'm like, yeah, 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 I want a bottle. But in the dry down, this turned very, very leathery almost on my skin. Cause you know, saffron has that 
way it can smell leathery at times and it did that on my skin now i don't know how it's going to play with your skin i would advise you to sample this first before you make that decision but it turned very leathery on my skin now i could handle a little bit of leather you know i'm a big girl i can handle some leather but as much as it's nice I think it's a little too much leathery for me and the kind of leather in this it's not a scent profile that I would wear all the time so I know I'm not going to wear this fragrance if I purchase it so to me this is a no I will wear this out maybe my mind will change but as for now this is a no so this other fragrance that is so so hyped and loved by so many now you ladies do not come for me this is um Mason Mataha and this is Gourmand Escapade. Now I couldn't get my hands on this. I almost blind bought this. Oh my God, so many times. I'm so happy I was able to purchase a decant. Now this is a warm and spicy and ambery musky fragrance. It's very sweet as I heard. Very vanilla, like vanilla forward fragrance. In the opening we have sugarcane, vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin and musk. Now when I sprayed this fragrance, oh my God, could you spray? This is a very sweet fragrance. I almost, in the opening, get a slight coffee note, but very slightly. You get that vanilla, you get the tonka bean, and there's a sweetness, like that sweetness is probably the sugar cane. Very pretty girl fragrance. Is it nice? It's gorgeous, don't get me wrong. It kind of puts me, now I heard this, and I smelt it for myself, so this is what I get. So please don't come for me, I'm just giving you my opinions. I get a very sweet candy-like fragrance like pink sugar you know that perfume pink sugar but with some more stuff to it it's like more elevated is it a pretty fragrance absolutely gorgeous is it something I want in my scent profile like in my collection I wouldn't mind having it but if I get a good deal or maybe it'll be lower down on my wish list is it something that I need to get right away no but is it pretty yes is it groundbreaking no it's all right it's just cute it's just a nice pretty girl sweet fragrance so gone gourmand escapade yes it's beautiful do i need it in my collection Eh. if it comes it comes let's put it that way so yeah that's gourmand escapade it's not all the hype it's not in my opinion i know you guys are gonna come from me kitra you know i love you girl but no i ain't it's nice but mm -mm, no it's not all that moving on to this other one that i tried now this one is a new release let me stop making rattling noise because some of you are going to be like, oh my God, you're making so much noise. So this one is um, a new release from Guerlain, their private line, and it's called Cherry Oud. I was so excited to try this fragrance, like so excited you don't understand. So when I got the chance to try this, because I was going to go in store and dry it, I'm like, oh, I could buy a sample and just get it over with. So this fragrance, when I just sprayed this, if you do not like Oud, don't even come near this. This has notes of cherry, fruit notes, Turkish rose, Bulgarian rose, leather, and agar wood. So it has leather and oud. This is, the oud in this is strong in the opening. It's not a sweet oud. This oud is like a medicinal oud. How do I explain it? This smells like, you know, a band-aid, the cloth band-aid when you pull it out, like, like hospital. I don't know, like when you go to a hospital and you smell those band-aids and stuff, how it smells, that's the kind of oud this gives me. It's kind of weird. You get a blast of cherry to the opening, but that cherry disappears so fast. It's like, hi, bye, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, the cherry does not last at all. And what I am left with, the oud dies down a bit. The oud simmers down a bit and it's not bad. The dry down is not bad at all. But this, I wouldn't class as a cherry fragrance because the cherry does not last in this fragrance. The oud is there. And then you get rose so to me this is a very rose oud combination not your regular rose oud because this don't have much sweetness to it but it's like a rose oud but not the nice kind of sweet oud if you know what i mean so i don't get any cherry to dry down it i was left i'm like hello miss cherry where are you so yeah this oud is like uh, i don't know man i don't know like what the hell so yeah, it's not one of my favorites, but the dry down is not bad. I could tolerate it, but do I want to buy a full size of this? No, hell no. 
I'm not going to buy this. I'm going to use on my sample. Who knows? I might fall in love with it. You never know. Things happen. But as for now, this is a hell no. Okay. Up next, which one do we have? Um, oh, this one. Now, this other fragrance is not a new release, but I wanted to get my hands on it. So since I'm doing, you know, buy or not, let, let's try it out. Okay. So this is Arabesque and this is from the Merchant of Venice. So I heard about this so so long ago that I wanted to try it. So this is a warm, spicy, fruity kind of tobacco fragrance. So the notes for this, oh, the top notes, we have tobacco leaf, we have plum, and we have ginger. You know I love tobacco and you know I love a good uh, plum. In the mid, we have some spices. So we have cinnamon, tonka bean, cedar. In the base, we have benzoin, we have vetiver, and we have musk. So when I smell, oh, and I'm going to put pictures of the bottles because this bottle is very nice. So the packaging for this is really nice. And uh, let's get a little zhuzh here. I don't want to spray myself because I already put my scent of the day. You know, if you watch Instagram, you'll see what my scent of the day is. <laughs> I smell good. This is really pretty. This herbat, you get the tobacco, you get the cinnamon, the benzoin. I thought it would be a heavier fragrance though, but it's not a very heavy fragrance. It's very nice. Would I buy a full bottle of this? Yeah, if I get a good deal on this, I'll buy it too. This one I like more. It's really pretty. So you get that tobacco. I think I need a little more thing. It's a light fragrance, so it's not a heavy fragrance. Yeah. But these notes, I feel like they come out more on my skin. I got a different, um, a different smell on my skin, but I don't want to spray it on my skin because I'll be smelling crazy. Yeah, you get it slight, but as I said, it's not a heavy fragrance. It's tobacco, it's plum, it's spicy. It's a really beautiful scent, especially for the fall. So would I purchase this? Yes, if I get a, if I find it, because it's always out of stock or I can't find it on those discounters. So yeah, this one is a yes. So guys, it's not much uh, samples here. I don't want to overwhelm you with all these fragrances. These are the ones that I chose. Some are new releases, some are just hyped. So I just wanted to give you my two cents, my little thoughts on these. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Get us to 10K soon. Yes, that's my goal for this year. And until next video, be safe, be kind, and smell fabulous. Bye now.